get tired of having to stay after class like this. This is getting ridiculous. Yeah, you and me both. I guess we have to stop being late for school. I'll need a car if I'm not going to be late anymore. You know what I know what? My goal is to have a black Corvette by this time next year. Speaking of cars, I heard Tom got his car stolen out of his parking lot just yesterday. I know. There's been about 20 stolen from right here. No one wants to seem to do anything about it. I can't understand that. It's getting really bad. Oh, well. Are you riding with me? No, I'm going to walk. Need the exercise. You know, that highway you walk home is pretty dangerous. There's already been a kidnapping and two shootings. Hey, dude, chill out. I can take care of myself. Anyway, got to scoot. Later. Later. Oh, and Harold, who's the pen holder? Give me a rest, man. There's no reason. Straight as can be. You do nothing. You just hassle me. Probably 10, 23, the station with the prisoner. So all you guys do is just hassle us. Didn't do nothing. I'm going to get your name and badge number. My old man knows chief of police is going to have your job. Well, what's going on? Oh, man, he's just hassling Sir, me. Sir, you want to go back reason. to your car, please? Sounds like hassling a yeah. Can't Sorry, believe it. Your own life. All right. Sir, did you hear me? You know, I get a telephone call. My old man hears about this, man. You're going to be gone. He's going to have your job. Want to keep it down, please? He ruined my life. Sir, you ruined your own life. I was walking home from school about two months ago. That was the day my life did a complete U-turn. I came across these magical black boots that really changed my life. How they got there and whose they were, I'll probably never know. But somehow, I had this feeling that they were left for me. I was the one chosen to pick up where someone else had left off. I was to complete a job that someone else couldn't finish. Tommy, I never seen nothing like it before in my life. There was 11 of us, Tommy. And this 160 pound kid wearing all black outfit put seven of us in the hospital. No way. Yes way, I was there to witness it or I wouldn't have believed it myself. This guy was one bad dude. Nobody's that bad. I didn't think so either. This guy makes the Ninja Turtles look harmless. Oh, yeah? Well, next time he's in town, let me know. I got a little Oriental friend that'll take him out one-on-one. -on -one. Can he fight? Oh, he's a 10th degree black, though. 10th degree? I don't think that's enough. Here we are with Police Chief Duke Williams. What do you think is the reason for the rapid rise in crime here in Union, Missouri? Statistics indicate a rise of over 100% of serious crimes. Well, we believe there's just a few bad apples causing all the problems. With adequate funding, we could get better police radios and the lights repaired on our vehicles. There are rumors that citizens are taking the law into their own hands to try and stop these troublemakers. No, that's not true. We are highly capable of controlling these thugs. We're here to protect, and I've been here for 35 years, and there's no crime going on that I don't know about. Hold it. Wait a minute. Stop. Somebody's stealing the camera truck. No. Yeah, there is. I got to go. No, keep the cameras rolling. This sums up our story on crime. This is Bonnie McAllister of Union, Missouri, station KLUV. Yeah, boss, we got a reporting of an unidentified human-like object out on Highway 67. It was spotted by two 10-year-olds. Now the media's picked up on it. Now the police department's handing it over to us. So being with the FBI, we got to do something about it. I don't want to mess with the paperwork, because I know there's nothing out there. Yeah. When's the last time you had this car tuned up? This car was running great earlier, now it just died on me. Got a full tank of gas and the engine just died. 
Wait a minute. Bow hold, hold on one second. This car's bouncing. Hold on one second. Two twelve. Something's awful suspicious here. There's a corn cob in my tailpipe. I think I just might have found a date for this Friday night. Yeah, that blonde chick from our math class, sitting right across from me. Yeah, I think I'm gonna move in for the kill. Where have you been? What do you mean, where have I been? Your teacher said you weren't in class fourth and fifth hour. Where'd you disappear to? I had a doctor's appointment. I can't figure you out, Scooter. You're like a split personality. It bothers me. I can't depend on you. I need you around more often because I don't feel safe going places by myself. Look, I can't be two places at the same time. I'm no Superman. I just want to know where you are. If you're looking for a 24-hour boyfriend, you got the wrong guy. And with all the trouble that's been going on in this town lately, you're going to be seeing a little less of me. Yeah. Hang on a second. Yo, Stephanie, are we going out Friday night or what? Wait a minute. Well, you got a date with Mr. Quarterback now. So are we going out or not? No, I'm seeing Scooter. Suit yourself. Yeah, I gotta go. I gotta call Susie. Okay. Look, pal. At the rate you're going, you're gonna be dialing 911 on that thing. Oh, really? Mr. Tough Guy. You know, your girlfriend here is no different than any other girl in this town. She'd kill for a date with me. I don't think you know what you're getting yourself into, Mr. All-Star. Oh, I think I do. Stop! Wait! No! Scooter, let's go. Yeah, that's what I thought. I'll be out in traffic of Sam George 4222 at Highway 67 and Marshall Road. We weren't speeding, were we? Nah. -uh. Then what's he pulling us over for? I don't know. Probably just to hassle us. We'll see who hassles who. What's your rush, boys? Oh, going to the party, officer. You want to go? My chief wouldn't go for that. Pass your license, please. 
Last time I saw it was on the back bumper. <laughs> yeah, me too. That's cute. Okay. Both of you step out of the car. Now, officer, it'd be much easier if you climb in here with us, so we wouldn't have to get out. <laughs> I don't want to hear another word out of you. Hey, what are you doing? Requesting backup at Highway 67 and Marshall Road. I'm Scooter. Don't worry, I'm not gonna hurt you. I've seen your dad. He's a police officer on the highway. You're watching out for him. I'll make sure nothing happens to him or you. He looks like Batman. <laughs> no way, dude. Batman's old news. He was cool till I skidded in the picture. Come back and see you in a couple weeks. I want you to be a good kid, make your mom proud. In the meantime, if you have any trouble with your friends or in school, you know who to call. Take care. What did APP put out on this Rick Billinger? Yes, sir. I think I know who this kid is scooting up and down the highway, sir. His name's Scooter. Scooter? Yes, yeah, Scooter. And his last name's Spielberg. He's somehow related to movie director Steven Spielberg. I don't know how yet, though. Steve's in Europe doing a picture. Now, all we know is Steve is known as the Whiz Kid. With his son, the Scooter character, or his relative or whoever it is, is known as the Skid Kid. That's amazing. How's he able to scoot? We think it's something to do with his thought process. 
It's in his concentration. It's just a matter of believing he can do it. I can't buy that. You don't need to buy it, sir. Just remember, he's a Spielberg. I want to talk to this scooter now. Well, sir, I'm afraid that's not possible. Why the heck not? Well, he's still at large. I'll listen. Otherwise, call 65 and a 55. Oh, man, don't you recognize me? Don't you know who I am? Haven't you ever seen me play pro basketball? No, sir, I don't, but I will when I see your driver's license. Man, can't believe this. Dude. I want to check out your wallet, please. Oh, gosh. Everyone recognizes me. I'm the leading scorer for St. Louis. I oh, am? Yeah? Is this your current address? Oh, it sure is. Uh, I'm late to practice, so uh, that's why I'm in such a hurry. Hey, this patch is calling. What we got? We got a brush fire near St. Paul Road. Okay, tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to let you off this time, but I want you to slow it down. Oh, yeah, I will. I rarely speed. Okay, you can be on your way. Okay, thanks a lot. Oh, and uh, by the way, watch me on television tomorrow night. Okay. You always got to remember. Well, the quickest way out there is Highway 109. Yeah. Scooter, sit down. I need to talk to you about those boots. People are starting to wonder about you. They think you're weird. What's wrong with these boots? I like these boots. They're really starting to get to me, too. You know why I wear the boots? It's because they give me good ankle support. I'll buy you new tennis shoes. High tops if you need the ankle support. And they won't be black. They'll be white. Look, save your money. Put it in my Corvette fund. My fund is slowly growing. I think I have enough to buy a steering wheel and a door. Wait a minute. What is that? What? Stuff coming out of your boots. It's just water. I stepped in a puddle back there. It looks like it's coming out of your heels. It smells like burnt rubber. What time is it? I gotta go to history class. Scooter, are you hiding something from me? I'm not hiding anything. Got to scoot. Later. Oh, 
Now this section of the highway, we've had several sightings of the skid kit, down there and down there. But what we come across here are some tread marks that aren't from tires. They're from black boots, size nine and a half C's. Now the lab took samples of the rubber treads right here, and they're less than a week old. Well, what's this? That there we think is some type of fuel. We believe there's something in these boots that gives him the power to scoot. You mean like a small motor? No, like a miniature jet engine. So what we need to do is get these boots and analyze them. Arrest them with the outfit on rather than the outfit off. I don't want to catch this kid in plain clothes. OK, um, we'll put a car at that end okay. and that end of the highway. Then we should be able to pretty well nab him. OK. Now, these sightings have been in all hours of day and night. We're going to need a stakeout crew out here from morning till night. This kid lives and breathes these highways. Wait a minute. He lives and breathes just like you and me. All he is is a punk kid with a pair of high-tech boots on. I have a sighting of the skid kid. He's heading southbound Route 203 into the woods. I need a assist car at my location. Apparently he's out of fuel in his boots. I'll be out on a foot pursuit. Over.
I think it's time we wake up. We're not gonna catch this kid on land, boss. We're gonna have to catch him from the air. This kid moves like a lightning bolt. I think we should call headquarters and have him warm up the chopper. Yes, I'd like a double cheeseburger, please, uh, an order of curlicue fries, and three large colas. Whoa, I'm dead empty. Tell you what, make that four large colas. Thank you. Excuse me, son. You Scooter? Scooter Spielberg? Yeah, that's me. What can I do for you? I'm with the FBI. I have a few questions to ask you. Shoot, dude. What's your current address? You know, I sleep wherever I can lay my head. Well, where are you going to put your head tonight? Oh, I don't know. Maybe your mom's backyard, the FBI parking lot. I know a real nice Wait a minute. What I'm here for is I have reason to believe you're the skid kid. That's bogus. No way, man. We'll see how bogus it is when I take you downtown. Hey, why are you messing with me? I'm just a high school student. I don't want any trouble. You won't have any trouble if you give me the black boots, and I am out of here. I'll make a deal with you. I'll give you the black boots if you and the police start doing your jobs. I gotta go. Oh, and, uh, it's a great suit. Oh! 
I know he's out there. Well, I know he's out there. Well, let me just shoot him. You can't shoot him. We're the FBI. We've got a reputation to uphold. I know. I know. Well, what, what do you suggest? Okay. Get him, pull him over, do something, get his ID, and then use this on him. It's a stun gun. It'll knock him out for 15 or 20 minutes. And then just take his boots off and cuff him and haul him in. All right. If I get him, zap him, will you give me a promotion? We'll discuss it. All right. How you doing, Mike? Fine. So you're probably wondering why I wear all this equipment. First of all, my main source of power is my boots. It's always important to have good treads on your boots for good traction. I got two speeds on these boots. There's warp speed and normal speed. I got a little nitro button underneath here for warp speed. When I get up to those pretty, you know, high speeds, sometimes I wreck. That's why I got all these equipment, these shoulder pads. I got a little something for you. Let's put these on. All right. Why do you wear the helmet? Well, son, because it's the law. today. It's a boring day. Want to rob some houses today? Nah. What about uh, kidnapping some little kids? No oh, way. That's getting old. You know, we could steal some really awesome car for the weekend. Yeah, but we've stole about every car you can. That's true. What about that rookie cop? Got any plans we could do to him today? Let's knock him off. You know what? That's the best idea you've had all day. Listen very carefully. I got a good idea. Fancy meeting you here. You know, we gotta stop meeting like this. No, you gotta stop following me. You think so? That's right, pal. You're under arrest. 
We got some questions for you. How are you related to movie director Steven Spielberg? What are you, cousins, second cousins, distant cousins, uncle, nephew? You leave Steve out of this, between you and me. Look, I know you only want me for one reason. You want my boots. But believe me, they're well hidden. And if you arrest me, you're never going to get them. You want to arrest someone, I'll give you the names and addresses of all the bad guys in town. They're troublemakers. I got to go. Get me out of these handcuffs. Should, should I let him go? Let him go. You sure? Yeah, he's not doing any good this way. You are him. Well, then I guess there's no denying it now, is there? Look, I wanted to tell you, but you wouldn't have understood. So that's why you were just appearing on me all the time. You would never tell me when you were leaving. I would just turn around and you would be gone. I thought you had another girlfriend. Well, you thought wrong. What I've been doing is trying to clean up the crime in this town. It's been awful, and that's a full-time job. Why couldn't you just tell me the truth? I tried, but this is something that had to be a secret. If you found out, you'd probably tell your friends, and sooner or later, get back to the media. And then the town would never get cleaned up. You and I have to have a long talk, Scooter. Maybe we do. Are you finished with that soda? Almost. Why? Here. Let me have it. I'm out of soda for my boots. You wanted me to be honest with you, right? My boots need to be filled with soda. They're unempty. I really need a six-pack, actually. Three for each boot. But whatever you have here will be enough to hold me over. That's the craziest thing I've ever heard. And my boots don't like the cheap stuff. They tend to misfire and ping a lot when they use the cheap stuff. And unfortunately, this is cheap. Hello? Hello, Michael, is that you? Sure isn't the president. I think you'd recognize your husband's voice by now. Karen, the reason I'm calling, I made the big decision. I've decided to quit. That's great! Oh, I can't wait to tell my parents. Yeah. Well, where are you calling from? From a phone booth out in the middle of nowhere. It is really lonely out here. I shouldn't be calling you from here, but uh, I thought you'd like to hear the good news, and that I only have two more weeks left. I talked it over with the chief today. He acted like he knew how I felt. The main reason is that I'm going to need more time to take care of my mother. She's really getting sick. Anyway, am I doing the right thing? Well, listen, Karen. I gotta get back to my car radio. I'll tell you more tonight. Yeah, bye now. Well, I was having car problems, and I pulled on the side of the road to see if there was a problem, you know? With underneath my hood. And this guy came around the corner so fast, he probably couldn't even see me, no doubt. Smacked me in my rear end. By the time I even turned around, he was gone. How long ago did this happen? Oh, uh, maybe, I guess, maybe at the most 10 minutes ago. 
Is the car drivable? Well, I'll tell you, man, if it was drivable, I wouldn't be sitting here. I'd be chasing him up the road. Okay, I'm gonna put out the description. Right. I didn't told you young and for racing these sports cars up and down this here road. Someone's gonna hey, get hurt. Hey, 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 hey. Punch is mind your own business. I wasn't speeding. Bull weevils are eating my corn. The gophers are eating my roots. And damn kids on my land don't respect no more, no one, no more. Giving them their city parks and they just sit there smart out. All cars be advised. We have a hit and run that just occurred at Highway 100 at 94. Vehicle described as a 7374 Cougar, brown in color. No plate information is available at this time. Any car not clear on that? Think you'll ever catch this guy? Yeah, that's kind of hard to say, but I think the odds are with us. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and check down the road a little bit, and you stay here and wait for the wrecker, all right? Yeah. vehicle is a 600 block of all state. There's no place on the vehicle. Requesting backup at my location.
Here we are at police headquarters at Union, Missouri. Police chief, we understand there's a reward being offered. That is correct. There's a $50,000 reward for the arrest and conviction of the person involved in the police shooting. We're also looking for another possible suspect called the Skid Kid. But he's only wanted for questioning because he's been spotted in the area. Well, if anyone has a lead on this case, please call Police Headquarters, Union, Missouri. This is Bonnie McAllister of Station KLUV. Why do you figure the boss sticks us out here in these desolate areas? I think it's to keep us out of trouble. Nah, it's so we can watch for this unidentified human object that's been seen in the area. I'll tell you what. You keep your eyes peeled for this punk that scoots up and down these highways. And I'll keep my eyes peeled for Haley's Comet to come out of the sky. Maybe we can catch them both in the next hour or so. Yeah, right. What that is, what a pleasant surprise. It's him, it's the kid, let's run him over. Get in the car, get in the car. 312 to 314. We had a sighting of the skid kid. He's heading west on Route 3 towards O'Fallon. Send an assist car to our location. Over. Okay, let me get this straight. He got away from all our agents, then he assaults one, and now he stoops low enough to steal some kid's bike? Well, he didn't really steal it, sir. The kids kind of gave it to him. Wait a minute. Kids are giving away free bicycles now? How do I put my kid on the list? 
I wouldn't know how to go about that, sir. I do know we lost him in a 20-acre cornfield. We think he's about a quarter mile west of the Jacqueline place. If you have to, bring in the dogs. I want him flushed out of there like a high-powered toilet bowl. Now! Cop killer. What? Oh, man. Man, who, who are you? Hey, stay away from me, man. I'll hurt you. Yeah, maybe so. But I'll hurt you. Stay away from me. I'll hurt you bad. I'll hurt you. These sick don't feel good on your head now. You want them on you? You can get them. Take this. Ugh! <sighs> 
unknown 16-year-old boy claimed the $50,000 reward today. He walked in, picked up the money, and disappeared. However, he did leave a message. If crime gets out of hand again, he will be back. This is Bonnie McAllister, Union Madura, Station KLUV. Well, finally got my new Corvette. You know what? It's really not that fast. These boots had better pick up. They were cheaper, too. I know. But remember, we're not using those anymore. You've given those up. All right. I'll stick with my promise. These boots need retreads anyway. Now, this isn't going to be easy. There's a lot of sentimental value here. These boots have saved my life many times. So here it goes. I'm doing this for you. There. It's kind of a relief. No more highway hero. No more bruises and scrapes. It's going to be much easier on me too, Scooter. I think it's a good idea that we're going to Los Angeles for a while and let things cool down. Well, maybe we can go visit my cousin Steve. Who knows, maybe he'll make a movie out of this whole episode. But drive real slow. You're wanted in every town for questioning. I don't want you to get arrested before you get there. I've been thinking, Stephanie. If they ever do catch me, when my court day comes, I'll just plead insanity. What the heck? I'm a crime fighter. <laughs> 